up? What's up? What's up? Can y'all hear me? Does this thing work? Does the microphone even work? Do you remember if there are any audio issues? Where'd she go? Oh my god! We're back on it. <gasps> y'all see it. Y'all see it right there in the reflection. It's not a booty. <clears throat> I'm wearing pants. It shows all my flaws. Happened. We're back. We're back. We're back sideways. Oh my gosh. We got the camera back out. We got the little little G7X back out. We heard. We listened. We get you. We we don't listen always, but we just want to try it out. See what happens. So if you observe in here, don't mind the mess. Look how voluptuous and plump these bad boobies are. These things are absolutely, I don't I don't even think it's like healthy. I don't know. My goal, I even told Katie the other day, I've got the griddle out there. I got that from Grand Dolly and Grand Dog. Still love it, still love it. But something about a chicken breast, I just was like, I just want to cook that on like some good old charcoal, grilled charcoal. Literally after I said that, probably 10 minutes later, I walked outside and I saw that grill sitting out on the sidewalk. He's really taking a dolly to get something that a neighbor put on the side of the road. Well, no shame in my game, y'all. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna try it. I did read that you're really technically not supposed to use charcoal at all in a pit boss. I was just gonna kind of put it down in there, but that's just gonna mess it up and be stupid. That would be dumb to mess it up. So for those of y'all that don't know what a pit boss is, it's an auger system you feed wood pellets to that come in a variety of flavors. And it slowly just feeds these wood pellets into like a little, kind of like a candle wax burner, essentially, if I were to give it a good metaphor. This burner slowly burns or smokes the pellets and creates the heat, the flavor, and the smoke that you want. So hopefully it'll be a quick control panel fix or something, but first I gotta take a look at everything, see if the auger is clogged or jammed. They said I need a bucket or something to sit this on when I take it off. Oh boy. Good call on telling you to put something right there because the cords are still all attached. This is what the neighbor mentioned. He said it was clogged and so the thing wasn't spinning and he tried to clean it out and when he did he unscrewed the circuit board but forgot to screw it back in so when he plugged it in he said he saw an arc jump and when I plugged it in it still worked like the display screen still worked and I figured if there was an arc jump the screen would have been busted I'm still just thinking this thing is still very clogged okay according to the very site that you're watching this on right now YouTube you have to take this motor off and get this auger to where you can pull it all the way out. So first I had to unscrew a little hard to reach screw here, and then I'm gonna unscrew this. Oh my goodness, I see that stretch. Hey, Emma's doing good. Anybody that was wondering. You smelled some food over here, I think. I'm not putting you on the grill, I promise. If you remember the other day, this little white fixture right here accidentally got broken. Oh my gosh. My phone hit the self, uh, like just, I just hit it and there it went. There it like crashed it. onto me. But I honestly wasn't too sad about losing the saggy boob light fixture. Like, you know, there's those like flush mount ones that look like a boob light fixture. They're like jokingly called that. Well, this was the saggy boob light fixture and it wasn't my favorite. So it's kind of an excuse to get to buy something fun and new. The new one just came. All right, so the new one. It's a whole different thing. Get out of my backlight. It is gonna be more of like a woven, what do they call it? Bohemian. And I think it's gonna look really good and tie into our decor a whole lot better than the saggy boob. Did. I feel like so an entryway see. light fixture is something that we have wanted to upgrade since our very first house back in 2012. And it's just something that we've never actually done because they always tend to be like, stupid expensive or we're not sure whether to go like fancy or whether it's just casual. I found this one on Overstock and the price is not that bad. And I just feel like I have a better feel of what kind of style we want. Hopefully this is the kind of style we want. I don't really know. I think it is. Ooh, it's so pretty. And it's a nice size. Let's hope it wouldn't be too small and it looks like it's gonna be perfect. Hopefully my electrician husband, um, Mr. Bob the Builder can get this put in. It looks like this. It's not attached yet, but we'll attach to the bottom. So it's like a little double tiered. That's so pretty. And the quality is really good. Look up close. On the inside, it's got four lights. So there's three that go sideways and then one in the bottom. So excited to see what this looks like. 
so it's my understanding that if they sit long enough and if they sit in the humidity and in the heat then they obviously get kind of mushy that appears to be what has happened here and you can kind of see with the rust let's take this cover off now and see what we got working with about where the heat comes up and see if it's clogged on this end too I'm a dad though. Not that fast. I've been on this this thing for a while. Think you're just gonna fall over after this many years? Think again, G7X. Don't make me go back to that iPhone though. I'll do it. Because there's some guy out there that needs to know about this. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, anyway, if you're still watching this, this is why. Go get your man who is about to throw that grill out and cost you hundreds of dollars to go get a new one. And this is a, this is another little thing. Uh, here's where I found where the other end of that auger comes out. And you can see there's still some just dry pellets in there. But so it slowly spins and slowly spits these thing, those things into here, those burn and create the flame. And when I tell you it smells like some good old Alabama country ribs in here, I am not lying. All right, baby, we got some movement here. You can see where all the stuck stuff that was in the middle is starting to move its way out. And this thing's coming out. can't see through that tunnel right there, it is still completely clogged. <laughs> never got any heat so I'm thinking the igniter rod is bad after I just looked at everything I don't think this has ever gotten any heat to it so I need to check the connection or the $10 replacement but then I have to wait for it what do you think Ooh, I love it. do you love it nice. do you think you can install it yeah look how pretty Super. Isn't that nice? Super and it's a nice size too, yeah? It's better in person than I thought it would be. Oh, look at him. He smells something new, but he can't he can't figure out where it is. It? It's the new light fixture because it's like strongly outdoorsy smell. He is on a mission. He said, but what is it? Moment of truth, moment of truth. I've got everything put back together. Got it all. Yeah, uh -oh. hole. See? If we had the up and I'm having to like turn it sideways. If we had the up and down camera, they could have seen that whole thing. I don't understand why y'all want this random wide angle. I would have had no idea that that's what they're talking about when they say wood pellets for grilling. I thought it was like chunks of wood. Yeah, this looks like rabbit turds. Here we go. If this works. Hey, if this works. Do I still keep it? Yes. What do you mean? I'm just like. Oh, to give it back to him. She'll just take it back to him and be like, hey, I fixed it for you. That would be nice. But he probably doesn't want it back anyway, but you could offer. He did say he was getting another one. Yeah, he could anyway, offer. Anyway, like, I think he's looking for a reason. He right. also knew that it could be fixed. It's supposed to kick on, and then you plug it, turn it to smoke, and then that kicks the arbor on. I'm going to stand way back. Oh. It didn't do that before? No. Oh my God, I'm gonna stand here. back. Should we shut the top? No, Should it we... says to leave the top open during startup. Mm. I'm afraid it's about to blow up in our faces. Is there like gas to this? Yeah, come here, look, get a shot of this. The auger's slowly turning. Basically like a candle melting wax from men. A wax warmer? Yeah. <laughs> a candle melting wax? I just totally lost all my <laughs> like, way to talk because this is actually turning, babe. You did it, good job. Okay. Just took the hot rod out. One, two, try to find a replacement for it. This has got to be the issue. We will have chicken tonight. Here we go, it's already started. Leave the house, get halfway down the road, and forget the camera. I almost even said, I almost texted Katie, I was like, I forgot the camera. But I just got home from the Hardware store. I went over to Ace. Ace is the place for your helpful hardware store, or something like that. Got the replacement hot rod that you shove up in the slot. Let's see if this works. Katie just took the kids to various after school projects. So I gotta play with the hot rod. New heating rod. Okay, here we go, test two, firing it up. Tell if it's getting hot yet. Please be it, baby. Come on. I just
just saw it. Let's see if I can just flash that up and show you all. Look at this. On the motherboard. Everything works. It's just not getting your poop right. I'll put the black uh, little arrow on the screen and see all that black right there. I just ordered one on Amazon. It should be here in two days. I think I can still use this tonight. Success! We have success! Okay, so I did a manual startup. So basically, I just started it in the cup, in that little fire cup. I started it with some kindling over here. Kin kindling wood that I've got. And then once I turned it on, it automatically like kicked on and you can see it just burning. These things are slowly churning up in here. And now it's working as far as manual starts go. But I still ordered a new control panel that I'm gonna get and I gotta get the great grades back on here. But I think I've got this on here, right? I don't know. Am I doing this right, y'all? Pikachu. Pikachu, I like that. It's like a romper onesie type thing. Uh. It's decked out. <laughs> I like it, dude. Look, it's getting it's getting up there. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. I get these chicken breasts ready. And listen, listen when I open this up. Ready? Oh, yes, it's working. First chicken babies on. Is it still going? It's still going, baby. Do we still have pellets? Do we still got pellets, baby? Ow! God, that's hot. Got me. Okay, it has been raining, and we should have a rainbow somewhere soon. What? Oh, for real? I just turned the camera on. Ah! I just called it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. It goes all the way. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. First new house rainbow it goes all the way right there. Okay, well that was exciting. We're gonna come up to the too. A little rainstorm. Here we go, baby. Everything's shut off. Oh my gosh, look at that. For the sun to shine in right when I was pulling them off, that looks like just. Oh. We're finally getting to putting up the light fixture. I'm so excited. Ooh. But we gotta turn off the power first. This is the first time I've looked at this except for um, the plug living. Living plug. P log. Okay, Entry so 22. 22. You place bets on 22. Where's 22? <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't turn on my washing machine. I'm in the middle of washing. <laughs> Hold on. It, it turned out this light. Hey, I'm proud of you. You don't always turn off the electricity when you do electrical work. You did today. I can't wait. I mean, it's going so good. Yes. All right, five hours later, and <laughs> here we are. But you had to make it look just perfect and I get the cord right. just right and get the chain just right. So here's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna go trip the breaker now. Give me a countdown, Clark. I hope nothing explodes for real. I don't know how to do electricity. Electricity. <laughs> here she blows. All right, we turn the. <laughs> the switch is on. <laughs> it's just like Clark Griswold. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, got a ring light so he can see. All right, ready? Uh, oh, did babe, not... you didn't put a light bulb in there. Yeah, I did. Did you not put the? Hold on. Hang on, maybe this bulb is. Maybe I didn't trip the thing right. Nope, this one works. Okay. Maybe this is a bad bulb. Oh. Try bulb. Okay. Oh my goodness. Did I not wire it back correct? I told you to pay attention to L and N. Oh. Uh, okay, check this light bulb in another, like this lamp. Okay. Just to rule that out. Yep, light bulb works. Dang it, I don't want you to have to unscrew all that. I feel bad. Okay, what was the problem? It got shoved up, see? It was just, it wasn't operate. it wasn't, it was just, yeah. Look, it got shoved up in there. See this connection right here? That, that connector wire okay, nut. So you don't even have to unwire I, it. I just gotta redo that one. Okay, Clark, round, round two. Round two, should we turn off that ring light? Ooh, that looks so pretty. All right, All right give me a countdown, okay. Clark. <laughs> Damn it, Clark. <laughs> it didn't work still? Flip the switch, Clark. Oh it's gotta gosh. be a safety feature. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> That's only one bowl. Okay, we gotta put all three bowls okay. in there. Okay, there it is. I'm stepping down off this pedestal after receiving my reward. You haven't received it yet. <laughs> you are the best husband ever. I'm so thankful for you. Ooh, that is so pretty. That looks so pretty. I love it. Like what people were saying in the reviews too is it looks pretty lit and unlit. Thank you, babe. I love you. I love you too. All right, fast forward two days later. Bam, replacement part. Amazon. 
All right, all right, here we go. I just got up under there and I switched everything out. Here's the old one. Okay, I got the shot back out. Cleaned out the fire cup. There's the new heating element rod. Things on, got her plugged in. Everything's good. All right, here we go. Should turn on the smoke and the rod should heat up. Oh, it's already starting off a little bit warmer than the other one. The other one was stuck at 70. It's still turning. Now let's see if we see any smoke coming. Do y'all smell that? Do y'all smell it? Do y'all see it? Do you see it? Oh my gosh, it's working! The free pit boss is working! That will eventually fully light all by itself. Oh my gosh, yeah baby! We got a working pit boss for free. $45 plus the pellets and my time and effort. Hell yeah baby. Not gonna lie. That was pretty fun. That's awesome. Let me put the buffer plate back on. And then I'm just gonna let this run and like season these. I don't think these have ever been seasoned actually, like properly seasoned. We're also trying to catch hummingbirds. Not to grill, not to grill. Gross. <laughs> Since I have a new grill now, it's only fitting that I try out this thing and see how it does. I'm doing a ribeye, a bone in, some garlic, salt and pepper, smoke flavor seasoning, and then some like fresh garlic. I got this thing set for 250 and I'm also trying something I've never done before. Pit Boss Reverse Sear, so I leave it on the grill for an hour. Instead of searing it on a high heat, I'm doing it for an hour for low heat and then you sear it at the end. See you in an hour. It has been an hour. Let's see how this bad boy is. We're supposed to take it off, crank this thing up to 500 now. It's been at 250, 260. I'm gonna test it. Ooh, watch it sizzle, make it curl. Look at all the juices come out of that girl. Dang. Going up, baby. Oh my goodness. Now we're cooking. Now I'm gonna flip it over and let it sear for four minutes. Mm. This is already cooked for an hour, so it's, oh, it's done. Now I'm just searing in these juices. That's crazy, it can cook for an hour. Is it getting too hard? Oh no, girl. It's gonna be just right. It's a ribeye. You ever seen my ribeye? Oh. I couldn't think of a gooder joke than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Can we let it here for four minutes? Try putting some Brussels sprouts in there. This is basically uh, just a big cylinder oven, you know? So why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta add the butter. Flappy Joe Sal. Smoking up the neighborhood. You know when you walk outside and you're like, oh, somebody's grilling. That's me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she could smell her vision. Come on, YouTube, get with it. You want your camera sideways? Why can't we smell? <laughs> These are just Brussels sprouts, some bacon, onion sliced up, and salt, pepper, garlic, then stirred and coated with olive oil in a bowl. Turn on here and grilled, and then you stir them a couple times. And then this is the secret sauce, baby. The secret topper. The stuff nobody tells you about. Just get you some of this parm, and you top it all off on here. Ooh, you can just hear my mouth watering, boy. Behind that camera, son. Mm. Ooh, baby, baby. Let's go, pit boss, for free. And get it on there like a you know what I mean? Mm. Make it look ugly. First okay, time I'm cutting into okay. this steak from the reverse sear on the pit boss from the side of the road. Let's just see. What are we dealing with here? Oh, that's even too much. Look at that. That's a little too, that, look. the reverse sear's got a little heat on that, but still, ooh. Oh my okay. gosh, the perfect. Some, some of y'all like that, oh, but wow. some of y'all think that is like way, way too cooked. Too cooked. We don't bad. like it mooing, so. Should we taste a bite now or wait till it's on our plates? Oh, you can do whatever you want to, baby. Oh my goodness. Mm. Reap your rewards. Mm. Oh my gosh. That mm. flavor is amazing. So good. Mm. And this is the final. Again, I probably let the meat cook a little. I did that thing gets hot. I didn't realize how hot it went. I need to tone it down a little bit. It'll still work. Who's this? Mm -hmm. Who's this? That's is you, me. That's you, boo. You gave me more meat than you. And y'all are still wearing We're red so to attract hummingbirds. Yeah. Yes, we are. Because <laughs> there's a hummingbird feed out there. You know, and one did come, but then you scared it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's it scary. Like too. Barking dogs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, Hummingbird Feeder Part 2. See what OTMS catch you in the Bye. Are we Bye. really doing like a part two about hummingbirds? Bye. Oh, Brooke said, hey, hey, what you supposed to say? Peace out. Wait, open it again. Bye. Peace out. Cheese ball, he said. Cheese ball. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you crazy girl.